Good morning, agents. Justin here. Hey, I've been getting a lot of questions on uh, specifically from a uh, new agents and about hey, I want to get my business going. Also, what's the best way to do it when I don't have a whole lot of funds? And I keep pointing at the conversion dashboard and the conversion page and saying, you know, there's a lot there that's really cheap. There's a ton of potential that's free. Um, but what can we do to make this better? So people have been calling, they want to help them. Hey, what can I do? What can I do? Best thing to do is obviously play with the dashboard. Um, down here where it says our listings, this is going to be one of your best buttons just because you can actually open it up. You can see what others are uh, have listed and then you can click on it. You can share it to your market, to your friends um, through Facebook and the leads go straight to you. So that was just a quick touch on that. Actually, my focus today is let's talk about squeeze pages and what is a squeeze page? Well, a squeeze page is essentially one that squeezes somebody for information. I'm going to give you something in return, but you're going to give me some information back for giving you information. So if you click on the link that says build a squeeze page, there's two types that I like to build buyers and sellers. And both of these I target for very specific local, hyper local markets. I try to build and work the area of Rowlett. I live in Rowlett. Um, it's often called the mayor campaign. You want to act like you're running as mayor and you want people to know your face and see it. So I market a lot right here where I live. So when they see me in the grocery store, or the gas station, they recognize me. They may not know where, but it's always a good conversation starter. So let's talk about this squeeze page. One of the easiest ones I love where you can throw onto the local web, uh, local Facebook groups for garage sales or local city pages is I love a seller squeeze page. You know, hey, give a quick estimate about what your home is worth. So what I do is I come and source here. It's going to be a Facebook ad. Um, hashtag. Hashtag's just a way of tra keeping up tracking that lead. Where'd it come from? So let's say, for example, let's build one for Garland, Texas. These are going to be Garland seller leads. Okay, that way I can keep them separate. Well, here's the big one. Which area do you want to focus on? Do you want to focus on a neighborhood or a city? Well, here I'm going to try to build it just generally for the city. So let's type in Garland. There, see how it popped up? Garland, city, Garland. So this is going to pull up the city area. Options, that's if you want to make it super um, new builds, focus it on reconstructs. I leave that one blank. Here we're doing it for sellers. And the Facebook cover photo, it comes up with the same photo, so it really doesn't matter on that. Next, you click the build the link button. It pops up with this nifty little link here. Let's take that link, let's copy it. Let's go see if it works. Always want to make sure a link works. Oh, and paste. Big, long, nasty link. Boom. The average price in Garland is $311,000. What's your home's work? Check your property's value. So they can type in right here. They'll type their address. It will give them an instant indicator. Hey, we feel your house is worth blah, blah, blah. Would you like more information? Some people will give you the more information, and that's great because they'll want you to contact them with a CMA. Perfect. Others won't. But the beauty of the system is you have their address and you can look up and find their name and you can specifically market to those houses because, you know, they're kind of thinking maybe they want to sell. Another beauty of the conversion system is after they put their address in, it drops a postcard in the mail and it's a branded postcard to you saying, hey, I've got buyers looking in the area. Would you like to talk? So awesome system. Like I said, this works great for your personal Facebook page, your business Facebook page, those local garage sale pages, the local city pages, um, if you're involved in because you're offering, hey, I've got this nifty little tool. All this is free. Uh, I do take it a step further. Instead of having some big, nasty, long link that I can never remember, I go ahead and buy a domain. It's like $11, $11, $12 for a year. Um, you can get them at different prices too. Uh, and I, I have mine specifically marketed 
um, very hyper local. Mine for my sellers in Rowlett is RowlettHomeprices.com. And it gets people back to that. It's easy to remember. I can market that page. Great, great source to use. Uh, and the only money you really put in it is, is the domain and then the time to share and build it up on Facebook. All right, so that's the example of the seller squeeze page. But let's also work on having a second one because as we know, not everybody sells. So let's go back, same process as before, Facebook. This time though, I'm going to hashtag, hmm, hashtag, Garland buyers. So that way all these leads can be tracked. If they come from this specific link, I know where they came from. Same thing. I'm going to type in the city or the area or some neighborhoods pop up. So you can see the neighborhoods like Garland Heights, um, Fuller Drive, Garland Road. You can get real specific. Um, but anyways, Garland. City of Garland. Also to kind of jump back, because I didn't mention it, just because you say on that seller's page, Garland Home Prices, if someone in Irving types in their address, it's still going to work. But I just, I build it because like I said, you want to really focus on being very hyper local. But the point is it still works if they're in your market. Uh, options, we're still not gonna make any specific. Yes, this is for a buyer. Boom, hit the build the link. Give it a moment to think about it so it can assign you a nice little link. Scroll down. This one's going to be a little bit longer because the search links have more criteria. Copy. Let's go test this one out real quick. And paste. Boom. Location. Garland Homes. All these. Look, they're all the homes that are listed in Garland. So for people that you know are wanting to move to the area, you know, or in the area, hey, this is Garland, this is my home, this is where I live. It's great. Check out my website where you can see all the homes that are on the market. So you're giving them all these homes, and after they click on it, what's going to happen? It's going to squeeze them for a little information. Hey, could you register so you can continue to use my site? And that's great because once they register, if they keep coming back, it notifies you, hey, so-and-so saved a home. Hey, so-and-so's liked it. They've looked at this home three or four times. Gives you another reason to touch base and, and call them and stuff. So, guys, hopefully it was just a quick little tidbit on how to launch two pages. Like I said, you can go ahead and take this link and buy another domain if you want. Um, I have them. They're just great, cheap tools, especially right now starting your business or if you're already running a business and you're just trying to become very hyper local and, and have your neighborhood and ever, uh, your area that you want to be known for work. So if you have any questions, just shoot me a message, whatnot. But I hope this cleared up for some people that hadn't played with it and didn't really understand what it was doing. So, all right, guys, have a good one.